caught me snoozing there for a second <laughs> just as we opened up the show. And the yawn, a big old yawn in the middle of that. Only two o'clock. But you know what? That's that's about the time your body like kind of wants a little reprieve in the day, right? True. It's true. Especially when you get up early in the morning. Yep. Because little power naps are good. 20, 30 minutes. Just stay mm-hmm. in that upper end of the sleep cycle. Don't go way down deep. That's why when you sleep beyond, take a little nappy beyond 20, 30 minutes, you see, feel groggy. You feel worse. You wake up in that like fog like, zone, uh, like what day terrible. is it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I slept through whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That that is that is a wild, you know, moment in time when you wake up after a long nap and you're like, you have no clue what day it is and what's going on. And like true story, back in the day <laughs> when I was a short order cook for Zinn's Diner. Mm, that feels like a okay, long time ago. And this is gonna this is gonna hit people in the, in the memory feelings right away when I say I went home after my seven to three shift okay. and fell asleep, took a nap in my whites. There's the memory. Because at Zen's Diner, all everybody wore white, okay, like uniforms. The waitresses had white dresses on with white aprons. The bus people had whites on. The cooks, the, everybody had whites. That's what See, when, I, when you said whites, I thought you said meant like tidy whities. No, well, you had to wear those because if you wore like <laughs> Maybe anything else stuck out, right? If you wore a leopard print, <laughs> you, you found no, no leopard prints that day. Yeah, okay, no, okay. it was a whole. Whole bunch of tidy whitey free of the looms there, man. If you were that salesman, you made out good with the Zen's Diner people. Anyway, so back to your story. So, yeah, thanks, Ben. Did you rail me? So this this is relevant to the nap thing. So I get off my shift. I'm like 16 or 17. I just literally crash, lay down in bed. Yep. Um, and at about 4:15, I woke up. Oh my gosh, I'm late for my shift. Because it was a Saturday and I always worked no. on Saturday, Sunday morning. You got I got up, rocketed out of the house into my 81 Camaro, like fired it up, vroom, and I'm down the road like 10 minutes. I'm like, it's not 7 a.m. <laughs> True story. That's pretty good. Yep. That's pretty good. I mean, usually you figure it out after like 60 seconds or so, but you were 10 minutes down the road. Oh, yeah. I mean, quick brush your teeth. Uh, water, water on. First. No, oh, all right. <laughs> not even then. Not even under <laughs> extreme nap duress did I conduct you, you, such an egregious example of feet brushing. They, it's you have to be a Lancaster Connects fan to get that's that. That's right. One. That's right. So anyway, here we are. I'm Jeff. I'm Ben. We're here to talk about Tempur-Pedic today. We rarely do this, so we hope. We hope that we've earned the right after a hundred forty one forty three. Yeah, two, something like that. So yeah. Hundred and forty plus episodes to talk a little bit about mm-hmm. something that is near and dear to us. We're a twenty-three year partner with Tempurpedic. They have redone their entire collection. And, you know, we just thought we'd share a little bit of our history with you, what it's all about, um, the ins and the outs, and just go over you know, why we're a partner, why we love the product, how it can help you sleep, how it can help you wake up happy, and, uh, you know, how it can help with your pain. Because we had... I mean, that's what's most important. Yeah. We had um, we had our rep here, and he's got a whole, whole bunch of stats that he shared with us about aches and pains. So I thought that might be a good way to lead into it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that kind of, you know, backing up, like, we carry products, we carry our selection, right? based on what we feel our customers are going to get the best night's sleep on. And there's not one mattress that fits everybody, right? We, we have a much smaller store and pay a lot less rent, right? That's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but Tempur-Pedic is the longest running brand we've carried at Gardner's like ever, right? I mean, we've been here 34 years and 23 year history with Tempur-Pedic, right? It is the brand. That's two thirds. It is two thirds. It is the brand that has stood the test of time both in uh, sales, obviously, products have to earn their keep on the sales floor. Yes. Um, but they last. They do what they sit, they state they're going to do. Mm-hmm. And customers love them. You know, not everybody's going to like a Tempur-Pedic. And that's, again, why we carry so many different products. But um, it is the product that has stood the test of time with Gardner's. So, yeah. and we, you know, really, we've, we've been a retailer since just about when they launched their retail division. 
Because mm-hmm. be- before us, you could only buy it like like mail order. Right? <laughs> mail order. There was, no, there was barely like internet, right? Kids, like, back in the day, <laughs> before you had your Amazon app and Prime account, your parents and grandparents used to order things with a phone. Mm-hmm. And there were these big, heavy things that came in the mail about twice the thick of this stack of books called catalogs. And you would order things from there. Well, you know, the, the funny it was thing like was, Amazon in your mailbox. How Tempur-Pedic started was, well, that path, you would request free information, right? And they would send you a little box. Mm-hmm. And that little box had a video in it. And it had a little sample, like a two inch by three or piece four inch foam. piece of foam. Uh, like, correction. A piece of temper. Temp, that's true. Material. We're going to get into what that is. That's true. A as a as a receiver of the box, you just thought, "Hey, this is a piece of foam. Like what, what's so <laughs> what's so special about this yellow piece of foam?" Um, this is why Ben is so good at operations. That's right. Because he has the uh, trouble with words. The, no, no, actually, <laughs> like a great way of expressing the words. Because well, thanks. Who gets the box? The receiver it's of the, the box. receiver of the box. What's well, the yeah, receiver the of the box too? They open it up. Or simplified recipient. <laughs> but the cool thing about this box was like, you're like, okay, so I'm interested in this mattress I saw on TV and, you know, space age foam, NASA, right? The, the video um, that people were responding to, like had the pitcher throwing an egg against the mattress and it would just hit the mattress and roll down, right? The egg wouldn't break. That's going way back. Oh, wait. And the, the I temper- forgot about that. Yeah. So the other company that will just say rhymes with Schmerple. Um, right. They stole it. They weren't, I forgot all they were about the trucking the eggs at the that bed. was That was the thing that would hook people in. It was that, the egg, you know, so, so they, so, Pitcher, pitcher's mound, right? And home plate. They had a Tempur-Pedic mattress standing up. This is like, at that time, it was the only one mattress. Ben's a baseball guy. So he would like, like that Ben's diner memory. If you remember (laughs) Butch Webster in his whites, rest in peace. Butch was instrumental in like management and leadership early in my life. Like whites were Butch Webster and Ben's a baseball guy. So he knows that. So uh, they they stood up a Tempur-Pedic mattress. It was the only mattress they made. They made one mattress. They stood it up at home plate, and a left-handed pitcher would throw this egg. And you would expect, like, if you're throwing an egg against the wall. I don't know. I just remember that. That was a left-handed pitcher. And he threw the ball, and it hit the mattress, and you would expect it to just explode because an egg fired at 60 feet, 6 inches is going to blow up, right? Nope. It hits the Tempur-Pedic material and just rolls down the mattress. Pretty wild. And then the other thing that drew people in was the wine glass, right? Probably more people remember the wine glass. Um, well, similar the, the to the bowling ball test. Right, which right. Which was a beauty rest thing. So a wine glass on a Tempur-Pedic mattress and a woman jumping up around on the bed. The bed, this, yeah, obviously... That was more akin to like a, an animal prancing in the woods, but right, sure. Right, So normally you jump, like if I go jump on this mattress back here, that little bun sample probably is going to flop off the bed. But the wine glass on a Tempur-Pedic mattress wouldn't dump over. And people were like, whoa, wait a minute. My partner, who I sleep with every night, disturbs my sleep. And here's a mattress that this full wine glass is not falling over and not spilling. So that's what I want. Oh, here it is. There it is. Post this person <laughs> rushing around. Rushing around. Good. There's the Lancaster, Lancaster County term. Now that's yep. Lancaster County. People from Lancaster wonder what r- rushing is. There it is. Yep, that's the yeah. that lo- that looks like maybe a, a um, an iteration beyond the the original wine glass test. But that was that's what drew people in. Yeah, and they would request this little box. The Tempur-Pedic would mail them a box. So like a week or two later, you'd receive this box. After I mean, that's how quickly things have changed, right? But you'd get this box and this little piece of uh, material and temper material. You would the only way to buy it at that time was to order it through Tempur-Pedic, and they would ship it to your house then you'd be like hoping that it would work, right? Yep. And you had 90 days to figure out if it was or wasn't, and you could send it back. And that and that 90 day test, that's why, you know, we're very proud of our partnership. 21, no, 23 years. Yeah. 23 years now. Yeah. 2001. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, largely, and you know, look, we do Lancaster Connects in a public forum. If somebody wants to put us question us on this, I, I guess please do. Uh, although I would hope you would have re- reached out to us first, but largely our tempur guests and customers are extremely happy with their purchase. Mm-hmm. And if not, we Tempur-Pedic has long had 
their comfort trial period, which as of recent has been mm-hmm. something that's become table stakes for the broader industry, but they were doing that way, way back. I remember getting into this industry. Um, a lot of retailers didn't quite understand Tempur-Pedic. They didn't get it. It didn't look pretty. Mm-hmm. It, it was like have, a block of cheese. Yeah, it's, it's, like, what is it? People describe it. You know, <laughs> going back 23 years ago, there were still floral prints and mm-hmm. colors, like mm-hmm. pinks and blues. And there, you know, there was memory foam wasn't a thing. It wasn't. And I remember the factory that I represented, we were trying to figure it out right alongside our retail partners. And um, and so it took it took a while. And and really I guess this leads into the the thing we some of the things we want to express. There's still a lot of people really trying to figure out temper peter mm-hmm. because you I've said a couple of times, it's not foam, it's not memory foam, it is temper material, just like a bucket of KFC chicken. With the 11 herbs and spices, nobody knows what the herbs and spices are. Mm. We just know there's 11 of them. And they're good. Yeah, I'm making myself hungry. Yeah, <laughs> just kidding. Um, but then there's other fried chicken. And that doesn't make the other fried chicken bad, but it <clears throat> makes it not Kentucky fried chicken. Just like cola or Pepsi is not Coca-Cola. Right? There, 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 there's just differences. And temper material has always had that difference. And no one, to our knowledge, Mm. has ever replicated it because it's a secret recipe. It's not patented because if it was patented, eventually the patent would um, come due and expire. And then it would be like open source technology. Mm. And uh, so they keep it very secret and uh, it's how they make their product. And so... Yep. We we just we love it because our customers love it, and we have customers that are on their third and mm-hmm. fourth, and I guess by this time we probably could say fifth Tempur Pedic. Well, and you know, so yeah, no mattress lasts forever, right? You know, some people think they invest in a mattress once, it's going to give them twenty or thirty years. No, that's not the case. Uh, so twenty three year history, it you know it, it is to be seen that you're going to have two or three. Tempur-Pedic mattresses within that time period. But we have people that have three and four. Exactly. And they get them for other houses, you know, so you have a, a, a beach house or a, a cabin place or whatever, you know, maybe they'll take the mattress from home, take it up to the cabin and get a new one for, for home. Well, they go, from the time. A, they go from a queen to a king. Yep. That happens. Uh, you know, the brand has grown over the years from it being far, f- like a, a firmer, more, more kind of abrupt initial feel to a softer feel. There's some of the old school advertising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, oh my gosh, blessed from the past. And and so it was that one mattress on there, the Cloud Supreme, that that really changed mm-hmm. the path of Tempur Pedic and mm-hmm. opened up what we now have today. And we'll get into the current collection, but um, uh, I forget where I was going before this popped up. But oh, people grow have grown with the brand and that Cloud Supreme model that I referenced that. I was in this commercial. You, you watching or listening would have no way of knowing. Uh, which, by the way, really pays to watch the show here. So if you're picking it up on audio, always check out the video on YouTube or our other social channels where we stream out because you get some visual context. But that Cloud Supreme changed the feel spectrum. It pushed it to the softer, mm-hmm. uh, more uh, contouring and comforting side of things as far as initial feel goes. And, and so people... Say, you know what? I like it, but now I I did something to my shoulder. You know, I injured my back and now I have increased pressure concerns and pressure point concerns. So I need something different. And, but they love the support. And so we've had people grow with the brand that way. And so it's just always been part of what we do here. But uh, I thought, why a quality system like Tempurpedic? So I've got some stats. Let's hear them. So, Aches and pains and sights, and again, this comes directly from Tempur-Pedic given to us. Wait, and, you're saying uh, people have aches and pains? Yeah, right, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I do. It's like everybody. I, I have pain <laughs> right here on my forehead right now. I look like a tomato. <laughs> what? What? I don't think you look like a tomato. That's not pain that a mattress can help with, but I have pain here. And I have pain from my road trip. I spoke to our industry yes. Uh, in Hilton Head, South Carolina last week. I referenced week. that on last week's show. Yeah, and um, uh, I'm still in pain from the drive home because I drove straight the 14 or so hours home. And, a long time. And uh, 
I was uh, in that Tommy Boy movie, uh, fat guy in a little coat. I was, I was a big guy in a little small size pickup truck, and it beat me up. My body still hurts. Mm. So aches and pains, we all have them. You don't need to uh, burn your head in a watching your kid at a football camp or driving a too small of a vehicle uh, on a 14-hour trip to do it. We all have aches and pains. 63% of people get poor sleep because of different types of aches and pains. So if you're in that group, you're not alone. Um, 27%, that's more than one out of four, have aches and pains when they wake up. I'm in that class mm. just with all the surgeries, broken yeah. bones and yeah. things. Um, 20% are enduring chronic pain and need relief. So that's one out of five, right? So if you're a family of five, likely one of you has mm-hmm. this chronic pain. Mm-hmm. If you're in a, in a co-working mm-hmm. space, look around your coworkers and be like, you know, I think you have chronic pain and that's evidence because you're awful grumpy in the morning until you have your coffee. Maybe you should go to gardeners and look at a Tempur-Pedic. I mean, that's a good point. Like we talk to all kinds of people that come in the store and we can't assume that everybody, oh, you have back pain. Oh, you have back pain. Oh, you have back pain. Like that's some, right. some of them might, but there's all kinds of other aches and pains and sleep challenges that people suffer from. Yep. Yep. 67% of people want to know their mattress will give them good support. Okay. And we'll talk a little bit about support and comfort here in our time together because yep. tempur does a great job of delivering both. Um, to the point where I almost made, oh, I'm ashamed to admit it, I made a mistake bringing home a new pillow. I'll talk about that Ooh. as far as that blending of comfort Ooh. support and systems, but I figured it out. Uh, 64% want to know how a mattress will relieve pressure that's causing them discomfort and lack of sleep. Talk about that. 55% just want something that's going to help them wake up pain-free. And 30% are looking for something to help them just manage the pain. And so whether it's tempur or not, and we're going to focus on tempur today, you know, a mattress is part of what can help you with pain. It's not everything. Um, we were in the first <laughs> to tell you that. That's in our Sleep Better book. I have mm-hmm. some other new information to tell you about later in the show. But uh, yeah, obviously, if you have a spinal issue, you shouldn't just, just be getting a mattress and thinking well, that that's going to cure it. Yeah, right? I mean, I've also found... Um, Diet, exercise, mm. amount of water intake. We call it the three-legged stool. Yeah. For me personally, the I know if I drank too little water the night, the next morning, because I am sore, I'm inflamed. I felt that, that meal. You know, and um, so a great mattress can help with all of this, but you need to be an active participant mm. in getting better sleep. And it's more than just putting a really great quality mattress at home like tempur you could you could have the very best habits, uh, very I'm sorry, the very best sleep system at home from Tempur-Pedic. But if you eat KFC all day, wash it down with Coca-Cola all day because you love the original fact of temper material, mm-hmm. so that's just how you roll. Okay, and then you're you know in bed watching TV, elevated up with your head and foot up with a wonderful temper base, and you only allow yourself four or five hours to sleep. Yeah, all of that you're going to nullify all the great <clears throat> stuff that a great mattress and, and a system like tempur can give you. Yeah. And so you have to be an active participant in getting good sleep. And a lot of the stuff we share in our Sleep Better Tips in our book uh, is to help you do that. But we'll get back on the mattress here. You know, an interesting thing since we kind of back the, on the horse, we'll the, get back on the mattress. <laughs> the time spent sleeping. A good mattress, a proper mattress, properly supported, pressure relieving, all of that, like a Tempur-Pedic, like a lot of the other products we carry here. You may not, your body may not require the length of sleep. You know, you might not need eight or nine hours of sleep. Right. But six good hours on a great quality sleep that's properly pressure relieving and supportive, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, can be great. So... It's a kind of a balance, but it, it does start with that mattress that is properly supported and pressure relieving. Yeah. So why don't you share, Ben, how you describe the blending of mm. support and comfort mm. with tempur And then let's talk about the new collections because yeah, yeah. for those that might be listening and watching that still have or watching, that's another Lancaster Connects ism. For those listening, those watching and those watching, the, they might still have a tempur from maybe 2006, mm-hmm. 2008. They had a protector on it. It'll serve them well that whole time. 
um, talk about pressure support, and then yeah, we can jump into those new new collections and models. Yeah. So, you know, I'll just kind of start by saying people typically want a mattress that's supportive, right? That I, I think they understand that they, you know, support, they want their body to be in proper alignment, right? The old way of thinking of that is that the harder the mattress, the better, right? You know, the doctor said, oh, you need a hard mattress. You need a firm mattress. Or mom said, mom always said, grandma always said, you need a firm mattress. I'll well, rely on a firm mattress. The, the concept is of a firm mattress or a hard mattress is that it keeps your body in alignment. It doesn't sag. While that might be true, our bodies are not boards. We're not two by fours. We're not flat, straight objects. We have curved to our shoulders and hips and our side and our lower back and our legs. So the cool thing about a Tempur-Pedic or the, the revolutionary thing about a Tempur-Pedic was that it was firm enough to keep your body in proper alignment, like absolutely horizontal alignment. So when you laid on a Tempur-Pedic, whether you were on your side or your back, your body was in alignment. You weren't getting that hammock effect. But it was also soft enough to contour to your body no matter what position you were in. Because obviously, you know, if you're on your back, you're a little bit more, there's more flat surface back there, right? Mm -hmm. But you have an arch to your back and you have a curve to your bottom and your legs. So you need the mattress to shape and mold without pushing pressure back. And the same thing with your your side, your shoulders and hips stick out further. There's less body surface on your side. So you need pre great pressure relief really in your shoulders and hips. Mattresses to that point, with the exception of a waterbed, which I don't know that we'll get into waterbeds today. That's not what the show is about. No. I can see us doing a show on waterbeds though, you know? But, you know, water beds could shape and mold to your body. But most other mattresses, especially coil beds, and I'll point to, you know, what's behind us here. These are different. But coil beds from 20 plus years ago, they weren't designed as well to shape and mold to the body. And if they did, they were too soft to the point where you hammocked in. So here comes Tempur-Pedic with this new proprietary material that was properly supportive, keeps your body, keeps your body in proper alignment, and reduces the pressure points no matter what position you're in. Yeah. Completely, completely unique. And we we described it as a waterbed store. I mean, 1990, Jim Gardner opened the store as a waterbed store. For us, it was a log Tempur-Pedic was a logical fit because we were so used to selling the benefit of flotation sleep. You know, uh, water is flotation. There's no pressure points. Tempur-Pedic was that logical, you know, for us and and for the industry really replacement for the benefits of yeah. the waterbed without the hassles of the waterbed. So it Tempur-Pedic, it right away just took off for us because it was it was properly supportive and pressure relieving without any maintenance, without any, you know, you could move it to a different room every night in your house if you want to do what you could do with the waterbed, right? Um yeah. but it was it was a uh kind of the right place at the right time for uh, the industry and, and really for us as gardeners, uh, well, then bedrooms and now mattress and more. But yeah, firm enough to support your body, soft enough to keep your body, or soft enough to be pressure relieving. Yeah. So to, to neatly wrap all that up with a little put a bow on it statement, you know, support is like the floor. We can all yeah. fall asleep on the floor. Okay. We get a lot of people come in to say, oh, I, can I can sleep on the floor. floor. Right. Okay. Usually old dudes, right? You can fall asleep on the floor. Yeah, right. The better question is how long can you stay asleep <clears throat> and then on the floor and then get up without looking like you just got run over by a car and right. screaming in about the same amount of pain. And that's comfort. So yes, we can all fall asleep on the floor. We've all done it. Reading stories to our kids, camping on the ground dirt when you're young. <laughs> whatever. Um, but comfort then is how many comforters would you put on the floor mm. to stay asleep? Yep. To not wake Make up the pain and not have that shoulder screaming and those pressure points from your hips. And, you know, if you have a little more curves in your body and you're a size sleeper, your hips pitched way up high and your shoulders the same. And now your spine's all out of alignment along the way. So floor firm comforters, comfort blending those two, that's the question. And that's really what we help guide everybody through here in the store is that blending of support and comfort and understanding, understanding that they're two different things. Well, and you know, the thing that really hit home for customers with a Tempur-Pedic, um, and it goes back to the wine glass, right? Uh, the motion disturbance, 
we see couples all the time that have different body shapes and sizes, different body weights. Um, most traditional mattresses, like, like this couple right here, right? Most traditional mattresses, <laughs> what tends to happen with those, and I'm talking about not the current coil mattresses or traditional mattresses, they're, they're different, different coils, different padding layers, whatnot. Um, but old school traditional coil mattresses, they might feel good at first, but then that lighter person always rolls to the heavier person. And you get that, especially in a queen, the king, you might get two, you know, big indentation, but the queen, you get that roll together effect in the middle too. You didn't, ever get that with a Tempur-Pedic. You still don't. It's it, well, right, right. You, it shapes and molds uniquely to each unique body that's on the mattress. And that's, again, uh, you know, waterbeds uh, achieved that, the properly supported waterbed. And nothing else that we had at that time when we started with Tempur-Pedic 23 years ago could do that. And that's another reason why it worked so well. You had uh, no disturbance for movement from side to side. Okay. And here on the screen is our current Tempur-Pedic gallery. You know, this is a great stat. 95% of Tempur-Pedic owners report better sleep. Yep. That's a huge number. Yep. And that's a third-party number. That's not them saying that. I believe that comes from J.D. Power. I believe. Don't, you know, don't. Don't eviscerate me on so, on social media if I'm wrong there. Uh, you come in and look at it right in the wall in the store anytime you want. Um, and it goes back to what I said earlier. You know, our tempur customers here in our store and at Gardner's over the years, whether it was here on Plaza Boulevard or over on Roarstown Road, you know, our expertise is in finding that fit. It's about helping you navigate that blending of support and comfort across the various collections. And, you know, the, the pillow mistake I referenced, I'll share now. Oh, yeah. uh, we got some wonderful new pillows here from another supplier. And uh, I have a lot of issues with my right shoulder, um, you know, from dirt bike accidents, motorcycle accidents, all that stuff over the years. And um, uh, I need a pillow that really crosses the divide in this broadness that I have and also helps me move my arm and place it. So I took home a certain pillow. I tried it out on a Tempur-Pedic, kind of forgetting that the model it was, it was a soft model compared to what I have at home, which is a little firmer. It was just different. And I kind of felt I made a mistake. And my wife said, you need to get rid of that pillow, take it back. First night I was snoring like a Mack truck. She didn't like that. No, no. <laughs> I mean, it, it, typically they don't. You get the elbow in the she middle of the, the elbow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's more of a you're snoring. <laughs> right. It's feels, not nice at all. You're snoring. <laughs> Move. You're snoring, right? And it's like a it's 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 I won't say it's abusive because we're public and police might come, but it's what it is. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I love my wife, Stephanie. She doesn't abuse me at all, except when she goes, you're starring. So anyway, uh, the fit was a positional change in the pillow. I just got my head further up on the pillow. Mm. Uh, and then that, then that was it. But it is all a blend. And that's where our expertise comes into play of helping our customers navigate not only comfort, not only support, but the whole system, the position, whether it's a uh, accomplished with a bed base where the head and the foot move up and down, which I have. So it was that and the new pillow, um, a new pillow and how it relates to that third of your spine. Cause there's eight vertebrae up here, the type of system you're getting on all of that stuff. That's what we do. But let's talk about the collections. Cause it's pretty yeah. exciting. We have all new collections <clears throat> and I don't know about you, but I'm proud to have them all here on display. We've got yeah, something from every co collection on display, which I think is, makes us unique it very much makes us unique there's a picture of some of the new beds there on the floor yeah, they look beautiful, beautiful new covers they look beautiful um they added a, um, a couple new models which yep. uh one of them is pictured right there uh in the the forefront of that picture that's, that's called done. the lux adapt hybrid yes so that a hybrid means so tempur typically or originally started out as an all material or foam based bed right no no coils at all now they have a few models that have uh coils inside so you have a blending of the worlds you know you have the traditional more maybe uh, uh springiness of a coil bed <laughs> yep. but without the negatives of coils that can happen like i referenced over time maybe an improper coil system would would hammock or sag or uh 
transfer motion from side to side. These coils are pocket coils in a hybrid bed, so they properly shape and mold to your body. Uh, but this has the benefit of the temper material on top, which again has the pressure relief and the yeah. uh, conformability uh, to reduce motion from side to side and uh, keep the body in proper alignment. Those hybrid beds are some of their most popular Tempur-Pedic beds right now. Yeah, and I feel, you know, it's my belief why they're popular. You know, look, Tempur-Pedic is a very popular brand, you know, multi-billion dollar at this point, global company, vertically integrated, the big success, big American success story. Uh, when it was brought here from overseas, that is, but you know, really built up here in the, in in uh, North America. But um, uh, I wanted to touch on what Ben just said. The Lux Adapt Hybrid is a coil support, right? And so the skeptic who might be listening might say, "Well, if Tempur Pedic as an all foam bed with temper material is so great, why did they go to coils?" Mm-hmm. Well, the reality is, as much as of a success as they are, not everybody's experienced it, and not everybody's quite ready for that all foam bed. And sometimes our bodies just like what our bodies like, Wait. and sometimes our bodies need a different type of support. And if anybody, if if that skeptic is willing to give credit where it's due, it's that a company like Tempur-Pedic has evolved in support and comfort offerings as time's gone along, going from the original eight-inch mattress to a ten-inch mattress, which was softer, and then they had what was that, the celebrity <laughs> pillow top, and then and then and then they went back to the firm side with the Rhapsody, mm-hmm. and then back to the extreme soft side with the Cloud the Cream, yep. Yep. and then came. From there, then we got into the Pro Adapt collection, I believe, was the next up big evolution. And then we kind of, a couple more iterations to today. Point being, um, the hybrids kind of offer a blend of what your body support-wise has always been used to. That coil support Mm -hmm. with low motion disturbance because it's an independent coil. Not going to be as good as the all-foam bed. Just not. It's just objectively, it's just not going to do the same work of motion transfer and motion dissipation as an all-foam bed's going to do with that wine glass. In other words, I wouldn't do the wine glass test on a hybrid, hybrid bed. Yeah. Just wouldn't do it. It's mm-hmm. cool. It's got some springing action inherently. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't risk our floor model over it. Mm-hmm. If somebody as a customer wants to come buy the bottle of wine that we'll split and drink and have fun with and jump on the bed and they can buy the floor model, we'll try it out and see what happens. Yep. Well, and, okay. the, and the wine glass test works as a visual demonstration, but that's not how you use a bed. Right. You know, normal use of the bed, getting in and out of the bed, move, changing positions, maybe in the middle of the night, there's no motion transfer exactly. or, or very, very, very little. Yep. Yep. And then, you know, some of the other evolutions that have come along, just aside from the cover, which has some performance capabilities of creating a more temperature neutral sleeping surface mm-hmm. and a cooling feeling. You know, the all all the new foam bed collections kind of have, you know, in your running shoes, if you're a runner uh, or your kid has the high-end Nikes or Jordans, I guess that's the same thing. Um, <clears throat> but it's got those channels cut out. I'll show, I have it here on the diagram. You know, we weren't exactly sure if we could broadcast all of Tempur-Pedic's materials, but we'll kind of cheat a little bit, do the little reveal. But <laughs> you see those channels there. Right here where my finger is. There we go. You know, so those channels are in our, or these are in the foam beds now, uh, in the Lux Adapt collection, that is. And, you know, those channels kind of work like sneakers do, those high performance running sneakers. Mm. It's not just the old school hunk of rubber sole. It's got these channels and grooves that's meant to work with the arch and the heel and the toe of your foot. It makes perfect sense to have in those areas of the mattress, especially a performance mattress at the Lux Adapt level. So it's delivering 30% more support, and the Lux Adapts have 20% more temper material. And that's the other thing that I want to point out about our expertise and, and really who we are as a company. So that's obvious. I'm a bigger guy. I'm not afraid to say it. I've always been a bigger, bigger gentleman. Of saw, I've always been a gentleman of size. <laughs> size. Um, you know, oh, certainly this way, and certainly height wise. Although Ben's got a few more inches on me, um, I'm I'm more of a gentleman of size in in this way than I'd like to be. I'm working on that as of late. But um, our store will always work with our folks, and really, kind of, 
I don't, I don't know how to say this other than to just say it. We won't put somebody into a bed that's just a wrong mm-hmm. fit for him and we know it. Yeah. Right. So a guy like <laughs> me on, let's say, the Adapt collection, which is the starting collection, which right now is on sale at $19.99, which is a tremendous value for a queen mattress from Tempur-Pedic. But the truth of the matter is our team, and, and there's one of them right behind us, Drew, and everybody else here would never in confidence offer the Adapt collection to somebody with my body type. Why? Because we're just going to drive right That's through that group. temper material. Yeah. And then we'll be on that support base. And then it would be like sleeping on the floor, which is why I wanted to touch on that whole support is like the floor. Comfort's derived from how long you can sleep on the floor with the padding, the comforters, the things you put between you and the floor. Well, in the Adapt collection, which is their starting collection, which is good for some body types and some budgets, somebody like me, it just isn't the right fit. I'm going to, I'm going to, especially with my aches and pains, I'm going to drive through the stuff that feels great. And I'm going to be on the stuff that's just supportive, like being firm on the floor. And that's where our expertise comes through. We're, we have those honest conversations about where every model in our store, tempur or not, fits, fits your body type, how it feels for you. And then of course fits the budget. Um, we will, we, we will not t- push you into something that isn't the right fit. Right. And that's across a number of, of uh, variables. And the beautiful thing there with that example, you lay on an adapt and we can explain our, you know, customers laying on an adapt, we can explain the difference to the pro adapt level and then the difference to the Lux adapt level like we were just talking about. And a customer can truly feel the difference. Yeah. You know, there's temper we have, that's We have the graphic on the screen. Yep. Right. To lay that out. Right. You know, a temper at $5,000 is different than the temper pedic at $2,000. And you can say, well, it's just temp all, you know, it's just temper material. Right. But there are unique differences between each model and you can let your body feel the difference and determine what's the best fit for your sleep needs. Yeah. Yeah. And, and as you go, and anybody listening to this, you know, this is going to go on YouTube. It's, we often have people from Lancaster, California comment, Lancaster, Ohio. Uh, there's a Lancaster, Texas although they all call it Lancaster. So those those uh, troglodytes over there, they, they could just stay over there. They start a war. That's right. The, the, the Lancaster, Lancaster mattress wars. Lancaster PA versus yeah, the world. That's right. Um, where was I going with that? But uh, You said troglodytes. Yeah, all well, just went. Well, went left. <laughs> and literally left my brain. <laughs> uh, I think I was talking through the collections. Um yeah, as on all the channels, talking about the different models, different models. Yeah, I was talking about trying them out, trying them out. Yes, <clears throat> that's it. As you move along, whether it's beginning at the adapt level and moving up, or the Lux adapt level and moving down, what you really should focus on is your sleep position, mm-hmm. the pressure points, where you're focusing more of that weight, that sleep transition. I mean, tr- you, you're you're trying a bed, hopefully, with who you sleep with. You move like you move. They move like they move. See if it elicits this. You're moving. Stop it. Respond. Man, look at, I am like a tomato. <laughs> that's, a, that's as Lancaster County as I've, and I've seen. Our, summer. our Amish uh, friends and brethren are living the farmer's <laughs> tent right now. You know, they, they make uh, like a cream that you can put on your skin that protects your skin hey, from the got, harmful totally, rays of the... I got totally fooled yesterday with our weather here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Let me finish my thought so I don't bore the people with yet another left turn uh, in the conversation. But yes, which I totally steered the car to left. I understand. As you're trying out tempur beds, I mean, really kind of work through the progression of models. And, and what I would share, and this is where I was going, um, no matter who watches this, It is important, your body type, your body size, how you sleep, who you sleep with, how they move, how you move, really try all that out and work up and down through the progressions and find your fit. The more temper material you have, largely the more pressure relieving experience you're going to have, less tossing and turning you're going to have. Anybody that tells you this will stop tossing and turning, run from, because it's not going to be us. Mm -hmm. And anybody else that tells you so is flying in the face of medical science, your body will move as you sleep. Even in the deepest of sleep, it will move about 20, 30 times a night. Um, You may feel like you slept like a log, but you did move. 
You just got some amazing, refreshing, mm -hmm. restoring sleep. Unlike me racing out of the house into my Camaro to go do a ship that didn't exist that I shared earlier in the day in our time together. But uh, try these collections out in, in your positions, as I said, as you experience it with your sleeping partner. Move around a little bit. Mimic some of that stuff that goes on. Keep it PG. Because there's, there's other people in the store. <laughs> And you'll find your way through the collection. You'll find what's a fit. Understand, it's not about 1999 uh, when it's we're in a sale period right now. Normally, 2199. I should clarify that. So it's not about moving from 2199 to 4299 to sell you something that's nearly twice the the investment. It's it's about finding the right fit. So experience those. And we say around here, if you don't feel it, you shouldn't invest mm. in it. Like, that's the other thing we do. Like, if you're not feeling it, because you have to love the feel. You have to love it when you get home that first week, that first month, that first year. Mm -hmm. um, so work with the work with these collections and give it time. Try it out. Well, you know, the give it time conversation is a good thing to point out with Tempur-Pedic. It is one of the kind of more unique things about a Tempur-Pedic mattress is you get it home and you lay on it and it's very firm. It, it's... it's uh, it's almost like a shoe, you know, a shoe you put on a brand new shoe and it felt great in the store, but you only put it on for a minute and you walked around and you're like, you did the toe test. It was all good, <laughs> like right? Son yesterday. Right. With his new cleats on prospect day at Kutztown oh, University. <laughs> so yeah, his feet probably hurt today, right? You know, or, or last night. So it, not that you're going to hurt laying on a tempur mattress for the first night, but it is different. It's completely different than likely what you were sleeping on, unless it was a tempur or maybe a memory foam bed. Um, but Tempur-Pedic's brand new out of the box feel almost like it's like the crisp. They need to break in a little bit, just like it's a new crispy. shoe. Um, so it's not uncommon for somebody to be maybe a little more uncomfortable than they thought they might be after investing in a Tempur-Pedic on night one. Some people might, you know, might adapt right away. Their body might adjust. Their sleep was so poor before that, you know, no, night number one was fantastic. But it is somewhat common for people to, you know, after a night or two or maybe even a week or two to maybe not be as comfortable as they thought they might be. But it's their body reacting to the new mattress and also the mattress needing to break in a little bit. So, um, you know, sometimes that's a few days, sometimes that may be a few weeks. But that's also why the trial period exists, because if it isn't the right fit after 90 nights, we and tempur will help you exchange it for something that you're going to like better. Yep. Um, so you're not stuck with a mattress, you know, $4,200 or $2,000 mattress that's not meeting your sleep needs. Yep. Uh, you know, waking up happy is not just something that we put on our wall <laughs> in our marketing. We mean it. Uh, we mean it. So um, it's step seven in our seven step wake up happy promise. We'll call you after you purchase from us, which last week when I was speaking to our industry, some of my peers thought was odd that we would call you uh, after the sale. No, we believe in what we sell. We believe in the fit that we help you achieve. And we believe if we're here to help you truly wake up happy, we should check in with you to make sure that that's happening. Do you think those people were thinking of it like they're scared? Like if they were themselves as a retailer calling like, oh my gosh, this person's going to exchange this bit. I don't want that to happen. Oh yeah, that, that, that's, that's what they're... That's a big problem in our industry, yeah. sadly, as people <laughs> aren't committed as we are. And I'm not ashamed to say it that way. Uh, I don't feel it's an arrogant thing to say because we have the reviews to back it up and the 14 time favorite store uh, award to back it up. Um, no, we'll call you to make sure you're happy with your product. And if you're not, we'll make it right. right. And it's very rare, but it happens. Simple. We make it right. And um, it's simple to do the right thing. But yeah, a lot of our peers, unfortunately, just won't do that because they don't go to the levels that we do. They're afraid of a little bit of... They're afraid of a pushback, a little bit of service. Uh, maybe it was we just needed to make a sale, so we made that sale. Uh, no, we'll, we'll we'll do the right thing and, and make that phone call. And more times than not, way more times than not, it's, yeah, I love it. Love what I'm doing. And then some other times it's, hey, I need a little bit of help with this. I'm glad you called. Fantastic. We might have you come in, look at a new pillow, maybe a, that position will change in the pillow. As I said, I had to remind myself to get my head higher on the pillow, uh, which is just engaging it deeper down here on the shoulder. We can help with that. We can send you a link on our website about using your bed base, which I do want to talk about Tempers bed bases for this year. Uh, so we have four or five really nice videos 
on your adjustable bed base, which changes the position that you sleep in, right? Uh, I kind of tongue in cheek say position changes everything in the bedroom related to sleep. Keep it PG, folks. I wasn't going there. I look like I'm embarrassed. No, I'm just sunburned. <laughs> But uh, Mr. No, tomato head. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm a tomato. Anyway, um, so no, position can change the sleep experience. And a lot of that refers to an adjustable bed base that sometimes looks like that. Okay. Usually with a mattress on it. That's right. And um, so Tempur-Pedic has a really nice uh, adjustable bed base collection. You know, and without, um, yeah, May, if you want to click on, so May's producing, sitting in today for our producer, Chris. A team cast ahead. So May's at the helm today. May's doing a fantastic job. So we have a wonderful guide about choosing the perfect adjustable bed base, going over all the information that you might need and all the positional things a bed base can do, all the health benefit of unlocks. But tempur this year has a wonderful new collection. Two of their bases, the Ergo Smart and the Ergo Pro Smart, both track your sleep with their Sleep Tracker 2.0 technology. Both respond to snoring, so your wife doesn't have to say, you're snoring, and I feel like I'm getting beat up. Um, it actually will move and elevate the bed base accordingly. But the Pro Smart specifically has something very cool, and that's this Massage Haptics audio interface. And so, like, if you'd like to listen to the ocean going to sleep, what about kind of having that vibrational sensory touch feeling to it? So imagine like heavy waves crashing on the shore and now that's coming through an audio audible haptic massage. It's not like back in my day when I drove to Zins in my 81 Camaro, there were some other dish boys that drove in the VWs when it was so hot back in the day to lower it, slam it and put big speakers in. It's not that vibration at all. It's haptics. So haptics are like what your kid has in their video game mm -hmm. controllers mm -hmm. or in the Oculus lenses. Yes. It's different. It's not because somebody's got the volume cranked up, picture frames are falling off the wall. Right. That's not what we're talking about. Right. That's bad. This is incredible. And so we have it hooked up here with an iPad and we play through different like rainforest rainforests and, and like movies through it. Yep. Uh, I guess our tempur has told us they're actually looking to license certain action movies mm -hmm. to come through. Not that you would fall asleep that way, but you know, the point being this haptic audio massage experience is really incredible. So if you like that rainforest, the oceans crashing on the waves, um, you can feel it and hear it and it's very very cool there's a lumbar adjustment to fill in for those that really need that manipulation in the low back just an incredible collection of bed bases and truth be told we didn't have them for quite a while we had our other mm -hmm. brand that we have here but uh we brought them in because they really uh did a great job with this year's collection so we can show you those too they're wonderful you know the the vibration i think is uh and and that haptic uh massage that you're talking about there is is really unique you know, it's kind of like I, I liken it to the the concept of a baby falling asleep in a car. Like you have a baby that can't fall asleep in the crib and you're like, oh, I'm, I'm going to take him for a drive because I know they fall asleep in the car. And within like a minute, I'm driving around just the, like the gentle vibration of the, the car. It's not the sound. Yeah. They they fall asleep quickly. It's not, and that's it, it dawns on me. It's not muscle massage because it's not what it is. At all. Yeah. Right. It's not like hands and right. beating and things like that. Right. It's tension relief. Yep, 100%. Think about it. You come home, you talk to your spouse, you're like, how's your day? The day was awful, it was rough. This person was bop, bop, bop in my ear, and my boss was bop, bop, bop in that ear. I'm like, you know what, sweetheart, let me give you a massage. Let me rub your shoulders. And they do it for two minutes. And it's just a quick little, Ooh, yeah. little sensory, little rub down, oh, right? But you immediately feel better. I feel good right now. Yeah, you should. I, I give a good <laughs> shoulder massage. Anyway... <laughs> Um, that's what the massage is, is about on these bases. It's not muscle massage. Okay. It's not vibration. It's tension relief. Yep. Think about that. It's tension relief. So what if you had every day at the touch of your hand, touch of a button in your hand, touch of your hand, that's I touch my hand. No touch of a button in your hand to hit a button and have that tension relief. You don't have to go bother your spouse. Mm -hmm. Maybe they give terrible shoulder massages. 
Okay. Uh, your kids are on you, right? You can go escape to your sleep sanctuary. Mm-hmm. That's really what it is. Hit that is button word. and get tension relief and relaxation at the touch of a button. And that's, and it's unlike any other base that has something similar to it. That leads the pack, the Tempur-Pedic Ergo Pro Smart. And that, what you're talking about there is on top of the pressure relief from the mattress, the Tempur-Pedic mattress, the support of the Tempur-Pedic mattress, the position of the adjustable bed, the fact that you can elevate your legs, take the weight of your legs off the small of the back, relax the muscles back there, elevate the head for reduce, right, you know, opening the airway, reduction of snoring and reflux and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right? It's all amazing. It's all a sleep sanctuary. I mean, that's a, that's a perfect word. Per it term. Is. Then you add in a wonderful pillow, you know, maybe some great silky smooth sheets that are breathable, fresh, luxurious quality. A new set of sheets every night. <laughs> like me. Let's, get, let's go back a couple episodes. Love. That's another why I'm, uh, I'm kind of bougie that way. If I could have a brand new pillowcase every night, I would. We should have a, we should have a Lancaster Connects quiz. Quiz show. Go back to, yeah, quiz show. Go back to, to like, Past episodes, find questions. That ask her, ask her, watchers, our watchers, yeah. See who, see who can ace the test. Yeah. So that was good. I love that little temper painting mm. discussion. Hopefully, you all did too. You know, um, if not for anything, it's here now on our channels. It's on our website. We can reference it. Our people can reference it. Our team can reference it. You know, this is what we do. We have a conversation with you about your sleep needs. We understand how your needs fit our solutions, and we help you find that right fit. So that was our conversation on tempur I want to, as my sleep better tip, share with you some wonderful new information that we uh, largely have just released. And so that's our Sleep Better Pocket Guide series. So this expands on our Sleep Better book, which we'll still send you. You can go to gardenersmattressandmore.com slash sleep dash better to get the book. But May, if you could bring up that digital bookshelf link again. Um, <clears throat> yes, we authored these guides. We'll have more. There's a natural, choosing the perfect natural mattress. So that's your natural cottons and wools and latexes. That's in draft status. So I have to prove that one yet. Uh, that's in my email. But uh, so our commitment is helping you find the right fit and information is power. And oftentimes you as a purchaser of anything, you're smart. You kind of know what you want. You, you have peers that can give you insights to where they've had success with something they've bought, where they might've failed with something they bought. You need that extra little, that answer, you know, you don't have, you can be, this can be the place to get it. So gardeners, mattress and slash guides. All these guides are up there. You can click on them, read them. It's free. There is no opt-in, no email request, no ad tracking, no pixels. We're not that digitally smart. Um, we just want you to have this information. Then further down the page, you can take a sleep hacks quiz. Um, we'll give you your sleep score. Again, you can take that. We don't need your emails. You know, if you want more information from us, then we start to get that. But when we give you great information, you go all the way through, we'll make you a free custom fit, custom made pillow. So a lot of great information to help you find the right fit. Again, that's what we're about. You know, uh, since we've been on the show, Drew's been here with a guest. Uh, I think about 45 minutes. Okay. Not that we need 45 minutes from everybody, but if you need four hours, mm -hmm. we'll give you four hours. If you need 45 minutes, we'll give you that. We always want to find the right fit and do right by you. Our commitment to that is continuing to put great education out there. So these guides are more tactical about topics. Sleep better is about sleep habits. That's the difference. And um, we'd love for you to engage in all of that information or a little bit of it, but it's all there for you. That's my sleep better tip. You know, these books are fantastic because like they're, they're not just little pamphlets or brochures that have some marketing jargon from a brand or from a retailer. They're, they're legit bound books, right? And you know, books like let's, let's talk about like just pillows and sheets. Like the way people buy pillows, typically like the average consumer, they go into a department store and they're like, wall of pillows, right? And they're like, oh, memory foam, latex. Often you're like, buying how good looking the package is. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, that, I recognize that pillow from whatever. I'll try that one. Yeah. And then what What does that process end up with? A closet yeah. full of pillows. Yeah. 
right? Like everybody has the closet in the best, in the, maybe the guest bedroom or the linen closet, the hallway that has yeah. like 20 pillows in it. And you're like, how did I end up in here? Like, well, that's, that's the path, but choosing the perfect pillow. Yep. If you invest 20 minutes, half an hour yeah. in reading this little guide about how to choose a proper pillow, you can actually go into a store like ours with ammunition and education and education to find the right pillow and eliminate that closet pillows. Yep. That's what these guys are built for. That's right. Love them. Is it testimonial time? It is. I've got a testimonial. Very good. It is from a recent customer named Martin. Uh, he left this review on Google about a week ago. First time in the store, but he's known about us for years. Uh, very helpful and knowledgeable. No pressure. There's that pressure word again, right? Uh, Phil walked us through the whole process, trying out several different mattresses, and we made our selection and purchase. Very contented with our choices. Good pricing as well. Thank you. So thank you, uh, Mart. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I said Martin. It's Marlin. It's a good old Lancaster County name. It is. Yeah. Marlin. Thank you, Marlin, for your review. I bet you Marlin's not rich in your mouth. He's anymore. not rich in <laughs> That's pretty good. That's right. Well, on that note, I think that was a good show. I think we're done. You got a whole test, whole dose of Ben and Jeff in this one. Uh, we're coming back next week with a great episode uh, for Memorial Day. So we'll see you then. And uh, it's a great time to invest in a new mattress. All of our Memorial Day sales are up. They're live. It is now is the time. Come in and see us. Have fun with family on the weekend. Honor Memorial Day on that Monday. And uh, you go to gardenersmatchsamore.com slash sales to see all the sales events that we have going on. There it is. There it is right there. Yep. Double deals, Tempur-Pedic savings that I referenced earlier. Uh, we've got some massage chair savings held over for Mother's Day, which was just uh, a few weeks back. We still have some clearance and closeout models. Yep. Yep. So Great deals. really wonderful time to uh, check us out and uh, the money saving offerings that we have. All right. And with that, we'll see you next week on Lancaster Connects. Take care.